So how do I know what theoretical concepts there are in my data? How do I start theorizing about this data? Uh, an important step, the first step in uh, developing these uh, theoretical concepts that later you want to test, to dismiss or support, is to really understand your coding, understand your coding framework and what it includes. So uh, what I often do is I start with writing about the codes. I take my codes and I write uh, descriptions of these codes, sometimes separately on a separate piece of paper. So I imagine I'm, I'm describing these codes to somebody. I want to tell the story of these codes. So uh, I'm trying to summarize a code and explain what it includes, what happens. Uh, then I go deeper, I go further. I say uh, where this code appears and when it appears. Uh, which participants mentioned uh, this issue, uh, whatever it is that this code, uh, this code describes. So which participants mentioned it, which participants didn't mention it. Then I start to theorize a little bit more. Why possibly, why did these participants did not talk about it and these did. So, so this is where my theorizing starts. Later I try to think about possible relationships between the different codes or the different themes, the, the more abstract uh, coding categories that include more codes. So I start to look at the data as a whole and also try to describe what I see there and try to think of possible relationships. So whether any of these categories, these coding categories, have an influence on the other categories. Again, I, uh, I go uh, into the data uh, to check whether it seems that there is some kind of a relationship. So as I write about these, uh, theorize about these relationships, again, quite often I uh, look at the data, I explore the data further. But it's still very a very early stage of uh, theorizing. Uh, so what I do next, uh, and this is very important, for me it's very important uh, to start creating models. I even did it today, you can see it, it's back there, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, I did it today as I was stuck a little bit with my analysis. I had a very good, uh, very detailed coding framework, but I didn't really know uh, what to do next. So I started uh, creating this model. It's very basic. It's my first attempt at trying to explain what's happening in the data. But it changed everything for me. My model, uh, my coding framework was very specific, very detailed, but it was also not theoretical at all, which is a good thing. It's coding, it's, it reflects what's in the data. But I tried to link all of this together. I really played with uh, putting these different elements, these categories uh, on different, uh, different parts of the paper and trying uh, experimenting with these arrows and what I think could have influenced the other category or the other uh, phenomenon coded by that, uh, uh, by that code. So uh, Essentially, it's like I said, it's like playing with the codes. It's trying to imagine what could have been the case. And the reason I'm doing it, although it's not supported with any or hardly any evidence, uh, the reason I'm doing it is precisely uh, to develop ideas for what to investigate next. So, as you are creating these very hypothetical models, uh, based entirely on your interpretation and quite often on, on your creativity. Uh, what you need to do next is to provide some kind of evidence to support these ideas. So you will either dismiss this theory or this idea or you will support it with your data. In any case you need to be challenging that data, challenging these ideas that you're developing. So do not stick to your idea because you like it but actually try to challenge it. Uh, put as much effort into trying to dismiss it, so to find evidence, uh, into finding evidence that this is not the case, as you, uh, just as much as you try to support this idea. It doesn't matter what happens, whether this great idea sometimes that you developed will be supported or dismissed by the evidence. The point is that you will be doing a lot more analysis and you will be uh, getting even more familiar with the data.